Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode with Any Daily Craft. And on today's episode, I will be teaching you guys how to style the advanced bridal fan gift. Come with me. Alright guys, so before I get started, I want to say a big shout out to every of my subscribers, every of my fans out there. I love you guys thank you for subscribing thank you for liking my tutorials i really appreciate and it's a big i mean a big thing to me thank you so much and i'll keep dropping you guys more and more tutorials on how to style different types of ghillie so now i have with me here i have um a two quarter material for the bridal fan um just in case you watched the previous video of my bridal fan tutorial you get to understand um this points don't forget the measurement is 45 55 and divide your fabric into two halves then take um your index and middle finger to measure uh, which you get your 45 55 then you base on your um muse you base on your client head then i'm at the back now so i'm wrapping up so then my shorter hand and my longer hand is at the back so now I'm going to be changing, which is the shorter hand will be going above the longer hand. And this is a static thing that would always happen whenever you want to tie gilly. It should always be the shorter hand on top of the longer hand. Don't forget. So now I take two inches in and now I'm picking three pleats you can actually you can pleat your um, pleats you can pick them before you base and you can also base and you pick them on top of your muse and so I pick mine before I base then I ask her to hold down and all you need now all you need to do now is just follow your pleats follow it all the way all the way make sure your pleats are well and neatly picked make sure you ensure they are the same space i mean they are space um the space in between each pleat are almost the same if not the same that adds to the beauty of your ghillie and it makes it look perfect so once you're done once you're done setting that so you're taking the other hand which is the longer hand over and you're going to be picking four pleats so make sure you're resting your hand on the lower i mean the second layer which is the three um for this style of ghillie you pick first two pleats then second which is the shorter hand that went um you know before this one you pick three and now the longer hand which is on top now then you pick four pleats and make sure your pleats are well laid make sure they are well laid because if you don't get them well laid you might not like the look of your daily and it might not be fair all right so i asked her to hold down that other end for me so i can pull out at the back so we can pull out at the back now so ensure you pull the right layer which is the one at the center it's connected to the longer part of your ghillie all right so you start making your pleats all the way now you start picking your pleats so you start by picking from the base you pick one one to make sure um, your material is the material is not too firm on the head and you can easily pick your pleats so keep picking your pleats and there's a way you, you're going to build up your pleats kindly watch closely all right so make sure your pleats are going all the way from the middle to the end and to the other end
Alright, so um, you arrange everything to the top, and now we are at the top. So ensure your pleats are well laid. It's very important. It's very important. Alright then now you want to start picking your fans remember it's bridal fan so you have two-sided fan so you have to start picking the one on your left hand side first so make sure you pick carefully all right so this tutorial is a little bit more advanced than my first tutorial on bridal fan if you haven't seen my first tutorial on bridal fan kindly check it's on my channel kindly check So after you're done setting your fan so that same place we pulled out from in the middle you're going to pull in back but carefully you're going to pull in and with your hand holding the fans you've made make sure you guide what you're pulling don't just pull anyhow make sure you guide what you're pulling all right i talked about strings that i'm gonna make a video on how to pin and how to you know um how to understand your fabric um when it comes to strings strings are connected ends of your fabric i'm gonna be dropping the tutorial um you know explanatory tutorial 
me explaining what strings are, how to understand the strings on your fabric and all. I'm sorry about the delay, I'm dropping the video, but I'll be dropping the video soon. Okay, so when you're done picking the fans on your left hand side, so you want to come to your right hand side and do the same. But before you do the same, you need to ensure you tie. So I'm just going to rearrange my plate there, then I'm going to tie at the back now. So your shorter hand, you roll, you wrap it up. You wrap it up in a twist. Yeah, just like that. Exactly how I did it. Then the longer hand you pick your four pleats you pick your four pleats then you pick from the base you pick from the base upwards so remember your shorter hand is always above your longer hand even when you want to tie then tying your ghillie your knot must be on your right hand side or the middle of the head your knot must not be on your left hand side so make sure you tie and pull so you can also ask your your muse or your client if it's tight enough. So immediately you're done tying, you want to start picking your other side fan, which is the one on your right hand side. So make sure you pick equally, just the way you did for the left hand side and ensure there's a balance between both sides. So pick your pleats on top of each other till you get to the end of the fabric. Okay, so now you're done picking your fans. So all you need to do is align it to the back. Then you tie on top of you tie on top of the fabric, which is the one with the fans. You tie your second tie. Remember, we've not made a second tie, so our second tie is gonna be on top of the remainant of that right, fabric. Guys. So before I get started, I want to say a big So make sure you tie firmly, make sure you tie firmly on top of the remainder of the fabric. So then you adjust your pleat, make sure you're shaping your pleat. Now this is the final touch, you want to make sure you polish every part of your ghillie. You want to make sure they are evenly, um, you know, spaced and evenly, um, you know, adjusted. So make sure you take your time, don't rush and practice they say make perfect the more you practice the better you get at it so once you are done with this tutorial kindly endeavor to practice all right so if you love this video please give this video a thumbs up so it can get noticed and also ensure you share and repost this video so it can be seen by other people that haven't that are not my fans and that don't have a privilege to see tutorials like this thank you so much for watching thank you so much i love you guys any daily craft make sure you practice and make sure you share you like don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new on this channel
So once you're done arranging and polishing your ghillie, now the last thing you do is you shift up, you shift a little bit above the airline so your ghillie can sit pretty on your mules. And lastly, you pack the messy back, you pack them in and you clean them. And after that, that's all for your bridal fan, advanced bridal fan ghillie. So make sure you practice, make sure you practice, make sure you comment if you're having a problem. I will be replying all comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. I love you guys. Open your eyes. Can you not throw your game?